afternoon. You might be wondering, shit, who I am. It's okay, I wondered the same thing. My name is Mr. Brian Person. Let's go. I went through that on the way in and uh, I went through a bit too, too lively and it came up over the front mudguard and onto me. Hence the front of the bike is wet and my legs and I think... Oh come on, let me go. I think uh, the bike is either getting not enough or too much fuel because I do have to rev it occasionally at stops like this and people must think I'm an absolute arse. So I'm just... See, look, it's... It's a two-stroke, 50cc, two-stroke, and uh, it's from 2000, the year, so it's 13 years old, and I think the whole environmental laws were probably a little bit more relaxed in 2000, because she is a bit, hmm. Also the noise. They must have been a bit relaxed there as well, because fuck me in town, people just stare at you. It's really annoying. Because I'm there, do like, flat out doing about 45 sometimes, and it's just wailing. Like on the way in. I was flat out doing about 43, because the wind was ahead of me. The wind isn't too bad up here, because I'm a bit more inland. But, uh, it was this, that noise there was a car there was a fucking black mercedes up my arse 80 kilo oh fuck yes nice feet living out here no wind only a fucking course in my way ah. ah i start i got uh i finally finished my ibt on wednesday uh wasn't able to get insured until friday uh, on Friday, took a half day off school, my dad didn't mind. Went out in the rain and the cold, much like this. And uh, Saturday, I went out for like an hour. The rain, fuck it, it was so bad and there was hail and shit and I don't like this corner. There's fucking, fucking evergreens, they're not evergreen, there's fucking leaves, they're ver their version of leaves, fucking spikes on the ground. Hello Mr. Kayak Roof, you're going to have fun in the wind, aren't you? I didn't actually know this road exists, I'm quite far from my house. I just decided there was a break in the rain, and I thought it was only going to be a few minutes of a break. Turns out it hasn't rained since, it's brilliant, I love it. Because I've got, I've got plenty of gear on, I've got my big jacket, my padded jacket, I've got waterproof pants. I haven't got boots, I don't need boots, I'll have a fucking underbone bike, my feet aren't out at the sides. Eh, ooh, ah. Uh, <laughs> soft suspension. And uh, I've got these gloves, nice enough gloves, they're uh, they're wet now because I just went at like 15 miles an hour flat fucking through a puddle. Quite a deep puddle as well. Actually, oh, this is, oh I like this now. I'm surprised this, it isn't. That's windy. You know, it's, it's very quiet actually. Because yesterday I tried to drive beside the sea and I just got to the end of my road and said, fuck it, I can't, it's too dangerous. But today it's just sort of slightly uncomfortable. Come on, let's do this. Oh, he's gonna have fun in the wind. <laughs> he's fucked. He's fucked. He's, I hope he doesn't like his kayak because that's gonna be God. Is there, to, is there anyone behind me? That's... Okay, no, I'm not going in there. Spicy. Those are Irish cows. Much more rugged than your fancy... Ooh, it's a nice road. Fancy English cows. It's tucked down. Ah, oh, yeah. This is... It speaks for itself, really. Lots of noise. And not very much... 
end product or speed. A bit like me really. I just make lots of noise and don't really do anything. It's a lovely road though. I, I, the, last, the last one I was up here was in with my dad probably during the summer in the Morris Minor. I tend to just zone out if I'm a passenger. I don't really notice these things. Anyway, I think I got slightly sidetracked from the whole interru or introduction thing. I'm Mr. Brian Person, as is indicated by my channel name. I, I want to go down there later. Uh, I'm 16. I have a 50cc two-stroke moped. It is a MBK Oveto slash Yamaha Neos, whatever. It's the same thing. Uh, that that looks interesting, but I don't know if I'm allowed to drive down there. Am I? Probably am. Actually, fuck, it's a building site. Um, I live in oops, bollocks. I live in Ireland, as you might tell by the accent and the bog. I. What else about me? In a few months, I will have enough money to buy a Pulse Adrenaline 125, which I'm quite happy about because it will be a bit quicker. Hopefully, so. hello, what's these? Silenter than this, and probably more off road capability. I haven't taken this off road yet, just because I'm afraid to, because it's very, very wet outside, and I'm on just, I don't have knobbly tyres, because it's a moped. I don't think they make them. I'm a bit paranoid actually, because I was watching a video of an American man driving a two-stroke Sam, I believe, on a highway. And he said, don't, don't be on that throttle too long. You ought to watch your temperature. So he was just doing this. And I'm a bit paranoid now about that, so I tend to do that if I'm going down a hill, to sort of ease off the throttle. I'm not sure, because that was probably a 600 or 1000 cc car with radiators and all those gubbins. And this is just a little air-cooled engine that's about that big. Puddle. There is one downside to this road. And that is... I have no idea where I'm going. I thought I knew. But I don't. And he's... Okay, there's a really big puddle there. I'm just gonna go... Okay, no, actually I'm not gonna go through it. I should have indicated there, but it's only me and him, and he doesn't give a shit. So there you go. <laughs> After previous experience... No, I'm a bit nervous about puddles now. Probably... I've probably fucked up the mic settings and everything. This is... I'm gonna pull in the next chance I get and try and, uh... Oh... Well, I could go up there. I think, no, that's someone's house. You know, they probably wouldn't take too kindly. They're probably asleep. It's Sunday. It's like, what, I'd say it's about 2 o'clock. They're probably still in bed. What's that? It's a fucked up little house. Oh. This, I could be in fucking Canada. Look at this. This is... Look, it's like... If you got put here on GeoGuessr, where would you think you'd be? I'd probably, actually, I probably would say Ireland, because look at this fucking road. Sorry, I thought I was, uh... I heard an odd noise. I was afraid I might have been smoking a bit. Okay, wait, I think I know where I am now. Oh yeah, I am on L plates, and in Ireland, it just means you have to wear a yellow tabard sort of sleeveless vest sort of thing with L plates on it front and back and it looks a bit ridiculous especially when I'm riding through town like with that noise and this I just I'm like a, I'm a tier I'm a level one motorcyclist I'm in a few months I might be like I might get upgraded to like level whatever 10 to 5 since I have a 125 I should have pulled in there actually. Well, fuck it, I'll find a different place. Also, the route, the laws in Ireland. I know in, in uh, the UK it says that at 16, 
you are only permitted to have a 50cc moped, you could probably have like an NSR 50 as well, they probably don't care, I'm not sure. Uh, that can go, that's an old schoolhouse, how creepy is that? That can go no faster than 30 miles an hour. In Ireland, at 16, you can have a up to a 125cc motorcycle, ex I went a bit American there. Uh, not exceeding a power output of 11 kilowatts which is fair enough the Sinus Apache and the Pulse they fall under that I'm sure and so does uh, the bike I did my MBT on was a Suzuki GN125 I assume that who's behind me are you going are you no I'll, I'll keep going then thank you sorry 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 yeah okay I definitely know where I am now I don't know how to get home from here well, it, it, I know where I am. That's it's a start. And um, oh, what's going on in there? Oh, look, sorry. Oh, um, at sixty, yeah, it said the one two five thing at sixteen. So I'm not limited by speed on this thing. So I can go past thirty. I could have also, also best thing about Ireland, there is no MOT for motorcycles. We have the NCT for cars, which stands for National Car Test. Nothing for bikes. Nada. Nothing. Oh. Uh, oh. This is uh, a bit dodgy. Let's slow down. But, which basically means you, well, I suppose, you also, indicators and mirrors are not a legal necessity because they brought in the laws in, like, the 60s. So most bikes didn't have them. I'm gonna pull over and let these guys pass. I'll see you next time. So the uh, so basically, so long as you have lights and well, I suppose a bike that isn't just made of rust or damaged, that's it. It's fine. Like you could have a 500 cc engine welded to the side of a Honda Cobb, and they probably wouldn't give a shit. That's, that's what makes this fucking country brilliant, you know? It's fucking winter. I'm literally the only motorcycle. Well, no. I saw like two people, I think, on Friday, and that was it. Oh, uh, my poor little engine, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, okay, I think. I need to preemptively plan where I'm going to stop. Because otherwise, this is just going to get confusing for the people. Uh. Right, they probably think I'm just being an arse. Okay, that's, I feel a bit embarrassed now, but never, never mind. There's not much I can do, really. Uh, I reckon there's somewhere I can pull it up here. Just, yeah, over the hill, I think. Oh, well, fuck knows what's down here, but I'm down here anyway. Might as well have a look. Oh, pull up. Ah, uh, freedom! Yes, that is a creepy looking forest. Is someone behind me? Let's have a look in there. Look how fucking dark it is. Look at it. Look at all the black water as well. I thought I'd be coming out here during the summer. I'm going, oh, I can't, can't go in there with a bike really. I can barely fucking walk in there. Look how fucking dark it is. It's pitch black in there. I'm not going in there. The only bad thing about, well, here, is, uh, it's all private land. So, like, that's all private. That's probably all private as well. I can see bits of fence. Uh, let's see, what can I... I really should have recorded the mileage the day I set off, because that would be nice. But I did record the mileage the day I put the new Speedo cable in. I'm going to try to keep it slow, give the engine a bit of a rest. Also, my, my uh, petrol gauge is a bit on the fritz. It said I had, like, near empty. Went into a petrol station, started filling up, and it's, it began to overflow. I'm like, okay, fair. It, took a, it did take a fiver, though. Wee! <laughs> no throttle. Wake the fuck up, everybody! <laughs> anyway. I think... I think I'll try and get some recording done today. I'll see what I can do editing-wise. Since I've... Hello, Mr. Horse. 
I'll even be. The only editing I've ever done was... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were there. There was a wall. I do apologise. That's another reason to get a four-stroke. You don't frighten everyone. <laughs> this is... Okay, no, I'm lost again. Well, fuck it. I got... I got a Galaxy S3 Mini. I'm sure there's some form of map feature on that fucking thing. Sight notice. Might read that on the way back. This is nice. Hello, cows. Am I going to frighten you? No, I don't think... Well, that, if I did frighten them, I'm fucked, because that's a pretty dodgy-looking fence. Uh, is this someone's house? It sort of looks like it is. I'm gonna just drive down, and if it is, I'll turn around. Because it does... Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this is someone's house. Okay. Well, let's turn at the gate, then. There's no one behind me. Or is it someone's house? It's not, either, is it? I don't really want to just go into their house. Uh, no, I think it's it's I think it's time I turn back. Are you gonna go on? Come on, son. Are you gonna, Mr. Volvo? Please let me go. Thank you, Mr. Volvo man.